One of the first things you can do as part of the home buying process is get pre-approved by a qualified lender. Why? Well, let's talk about it. Welcome to another episode of Daddy Knows Best. I'm Property Daddy NYC, and if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and like, ring that bell for future notifications, and if you love the video, please leave a comment below. Always love to hear from you. So you're getting ready to buy a house, and one of the most important things you can do at the beginning of the home buying process is get pre-approved by a qualified lender. This way, you'll know exactly how much house you can afford, and real estate agents and dealers will know that your finances are in line and you're ready to go. The first step to getting pre-approved is to complete a loan application. You'll need to submit documentation of your financial history, including income, assets, and debts. Wondering if it's worth it to get your finances in order before you start house shopping? Here's five reasons why you should. Number one, you're a more powerful buyer. Real estate agents and sellers will see you as a more serious buyer if you have the backing of a lender. Pre-approval means a lender has looked at your financial background and determined how much home you can afford. Number two, save yourself valuable time. Getting pre-approved can also save you valuable time by determining how much home you can afford, so you can target your home search to your price level. This also allows you to focus on the features you want in a home rather than the price tag. Number three, better bargaining power. With a pre-approval letter in hand, you will have more negotiating power because sellers and real estate agents will know that you've spoken with a lender and mean business. Number four, reduce surprises. Talking to a loan officer before you find your perfect home can ensure that there's no surprises when it comes time to making an offer. Getting your ducks in a row early will leave little room for unexpected surprises, such as a low credit score or a less than desirable debt to income ratio. Number five, enjoy shorter closing periods. A pre-approval letter can shorten the closing period since most of your financial information is already collected and in the lender's system. I'd also like to talk about the difference between a pre-approval letter and a pre-qualification letter. A lot of people think these are the same thing and they're not. A pre-qualification letter is a letter from the bank that states exactly how much you would like for a particular property, but it's not based upon any financial records or qualifications. Whereas a pre-approval letter is a letter from the bank put together by a financial specialist that states exactly how much you're entitled to borrow. And this letter is based upon your financial records and your qualifications. Bonus tip. A pre-approval letter also locks in your interest rate. If you have any questions or ideas about anything that I've mentioned, my details are in the description below. And that's it for another episode of Daddy Knows Best. I'm Property Daddy NYC, and if you haven't liked or subscribed, do so now. Ring that bell for future notifications, and if you love the video, please leave a comment below. Always love to hear from you. Okay, take care, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon in the next episode of Daddy Knows Best. Yes, here comes Property Daddy now. Bouncing down that New York trail Hippity hoppity daddy's on his way